everybody, it's me, Tara and Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play. We are actually starting a new Nancy Drew game today. Today we are going to be playing Danger on Deception Island. I'm really excited to get started on this one. This one is a lot of fun. Um, I somewhat remember what's going on in this game, but not really. Um, so, I don't know, let's just get right on into this. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn Gonna how to play, junior. choose game. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Bess arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Okay, here we go. I'm wondering if I can talk for a minute or if it's gonna have people talk. Katie? Yeah. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. Oh no. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Are you gonna be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We better call the sheriff. Actually, mm -hmm. I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. Are you sure you don't want to call somebody? Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. Okay. And never go out without a GPS. Oh, That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Okay. Need uh, any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Okay. Uh, so this is my first time playing an anti-true game. Well, not first time. First time in a long time playing an anti-true game. Um, I recorded all my other ones uh, pretty fairly close together because I was going to school and it still looks wanted like some videos. It damaged your engine did something to your faucet to too. Come out. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. Okay. So at least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. We need to fix this faucet. Um, Right-click pipe pieces to rotate them. So I'm guessing we want it to go from here to here. Oh, well, let me know if that I doesn't get go there. In the right spot. Uh, that's gonna be the same. That doesn't go there. Maybe. That doesn't go there. Okay, that one goes there. I wish I could tell like um, what ends needed to go because usually on pipes you'd be able to tell like one's smaller and one's bigger. But not on better start going in a good order. I don't double 
up. That doesn't go there. Nope. That doesn't go there. Don't think that goes That there. doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That's not going That work. doesn't go there. Maybe this one. No? That not doesn't that go one. there. I already did a straight one. Oh. It's the other straight one. Okay, so I think it needs to flip upwards now. That one's too big. That looks right. Okay. So the switch of color. That doesn't go that there. That doesn't work though. Let's try a straight one. That doesn't go there. I don't that think. doesn't go there. Okay. That looks right. Mm -hmm. It's almost there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Did I just do that one? That looks right. Okay, so we're not heading up there yet. We have to use all of these. Uh, that doesn't uh, go there. That one looked right. That looks right. Okay, then a straight one for sure. Curve it back up. And curve it around. No. Not that one. And then curve it down. This that one. looks right. That okay. looks right. It's all fixed. There we go. I'll turn the water back on. Well, world. This is her company. Town meeting to discuss the orca. Benjamin Hawkins. Coffee break. Town meeting. Nancy Drew. Hey, those are from... Was it the last game? No, two games ago. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my battery. Anagram Foster. Oh, brand new Anagram Buster. Anagram if I come across Buster. letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Oh, cool. Found a business card for Annie Jason. Got a little ocean world. Is that what it was called? Glory's Plague Snake Horse Harbor. Orca stirs up trouble. Bolt Scotto runs for Arbor Master. Find Katie's GPS. Find out who trashed Katie's boat. Use my cell phone to check in with Bess and George. Okay. Should we do that then? to call George. Nope. Maybe I don't have any reception down here. Okay, if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Oh, so there's different... Yeah. Too cool! Okay. 
different slides that we can look at. There. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Okay. Let's put these books okay, away. What's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Why do you want no space left over? door open but it's <laughs> my roommate's watching a movie no that's not gonna fit there oh and I can't rotate them interesting okay so I have to find oh that fits pretty good there find what fits up and down and side to side best. So I'm guessing these two are like this because that fits pretty good. That fits good there. Don't want any space. Go. Um, anything fit there? Well, I have this and no. No. So I don't think that goes there. Um, that's the same problem though. Would it be if I put this up here and this down here? Or would that be the same issue? Not unless they're small books. Or I guess maybe not that one, but the two small ones. Yeah, I guess. Uh, a little thicker, a little skinnier. Hmm. about mm. what if I put this one like this and then this one like or these two That's good. And are there any that stand all the way? I think that's the tallest. So let's put a shorter one here. Be thicker. Be Da, da, da. Ew, that won't work. Okay, that will work. Okay. I think I got it. Gotta make sure there's no space. I changed the way I did it. <laughs> did it just so oh, um I might need to see a book in here. Our 
there for a real morphology. Complex morphological issues? Microscopic tracheid analysis? Microtome surfacing? There's a number there. Is that going to be my phone now? Or do I need to write it down? I need to write it down. What wood am I? I don't know if we're going to need this, but... Nine, six, six, three. This is... So maybe, yeah, I don't know, but there's a lady who knows about wood. Okay. I'm looking for a GPS. I don't want to go out here yet because there's stuff over here. Ooh. Um. Wonder what's chest. in here. Full of ice. Um, I feel like that map. How do I get over there? Work. Can I look under this? No. Where's your GPS? Because it looks like I can look under that corner. I can't. Okay, I don't want off the boat, I want to go up. This one's hard to navigate. Uh -oh. The GPS is broken. The GPS doesn't look so hot. Uh, this note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Stop meddling or else. Meddling about the orca? Uh. You know, Nancy, for what it's Emily? worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. Oh. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. Some people don't like that idea? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering Why? clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs uh -huh. them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine, I'd be buying a new one. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Bye. that we get a that we get a bike around did she say where this was placed like where I'm located is that Washington or... hang on I'll be right with you actually I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto so what do you want <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto I'm Nancy Drew I'm visiting Katie Firestone well now why would you want to do a thing like that 
call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I... I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor, precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Her boat was ransacked this morning. Yeah. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Really? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Oh. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it, or you one of its relatives was seen Canada. a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was the snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. So it wasn't the snake horse? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. That's something Guy would be Washington having a drink Oregon. one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. Are you retired? Fishermen never retire, young lady. After all, what would we do? Go fishing? <laughs> Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. <laughs> Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Oh, yeah, sure. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Good here. idea. Depending on what it is. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. Me? And that would be me? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. The sun always sets, I know, in the west. That looks right. What's the current fine for clamming without a permit in Snake Har Harbor? Left side of the boat is called their left side is called the port side or the starboard side. The only reason I know that is that my grandmother she had these two cats and one was named Port and one was named Starboard. And so those are the sides of the boat. So the moon always rises I don't know, east. Yes! North Star is part of what constellation? That would be the. the they, no, the small dipper. Not. No? Is it the big dipper? Not. Mm. Little dipper. Am I smart or what? As, <laughs> I was like, I swear. Schooner is a boat with at least two something. What is the name of the knot below? What kind of knot is it? Bring me a male Dungeness crab. So yeah, I don't know the rest. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. Come on, see my 
monster is very cool. Can I get for now? you, Nancy? Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darn if she wasn't right. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Dublin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, Dublin. 1866 Dub or something. Dublin. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. What do you mean? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. What kind of things? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. Yeah. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Okay. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happen. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In <laughs> fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. So Andy Jason is one of your regulars? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Out. Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Mm hmm. I actually mm. don't like that. That was delicious. Chowder. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Yeah, um. They had clam chowder in San Francisco. Don't really like it that much. Okay, so a male Dungeness crab. The abdomen of a female is wider than that of a male. So, right here, that's thicker. So, male equals thinner. Interesting. Okay. There's a dude. 138.43 for clamming. What was it? 138.43. Huh. 138.43. Perfect! Okay. Morse code. Dots. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. Sure. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. 
You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of <laughs> customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. Oh. What do you think should be done with the orca <sighs> out there? I Nothing. Think I think hypocrite. people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. Burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. <laughs> Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Let's check this place out. Wow, that's a beauty. Here's boot books. Blech. I can't look at any of them. Miss, Ooh. please don't touch that. I can't put that together. Rude. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone, it's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm gonna turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Fine, except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh, I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. <laughs> well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Mm. She's cooking. Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess, it's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. When did all this start? Two days ago. Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything. But what would she be hiding? This one woman, Jenna Deblin, she suggested that Katie trashed her own boat in order to discredit Holt Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. So are you going to confront her? 
I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. Holt Scotto and whoever vandalized Katie's boat seem to be fond of the word metal. It's not exactly a word you hear every day. It's not exactly hard proof either. What else did this Scotto guy have to say? He's tired of environmentalists always getting their way. Like with that orca. Do you think he has a point? I can see why he's upset. I mean, that whale is making it difficult for fishermen like him to make a living, yet nobody seems to care. Must be very frustrating. The bottom line is, he had a motive for vandalizing Katie's boat. Don't turn your back on him, Nan. I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Kind of bored of talking to them, so... Well, I think we're running out of time for today, so I'm going to end it right here. Um, I think we met everybody, which is cool. So uh, we were able to meet everybody in the town. We're still looking for a few things. We uh, need to finish up that quiz that was given to us. Um, but yeah, we were able to work on a few puzzles and everything. Let me know what you guys think about um, who the person who vandalized Emily's boat could be and what you think is going on in this case. Um, but I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Have courage and be 